I am Cybex author William Panic. In this video, I am going to show you how to actually set up a virtual hard disk so that you can follow along with the labs in my Windows Server 2012 MCSA certification book. The labs are all going to be done using virtualization. And the virtualization that we're going to use is going to be VMware. Now, on the left hand side here, you'll see that I actually have an icon for VMware Workstation. The way I'm going to start is I'm going to double click on my VMware Workstation. Now when VMware opens, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually click on the create a new virtual machine. And a wizard pops up. So I'm going to go ahead and choose custom and I'm going to say next. Then it's going to ask me which virtual machine compatibility am I going to use. So I'll say next. Then it's going to ask me, how am I going to install the operating system? If you go out to Microsoft, you can actually get an ISO copy of Windows Server 2012. So you can install it right from the, from the disk image. Or you can install it from a CD-ROM, okay, a DVD. And that's what I have. So I'm actually just going to say I'm going to install the operating system later. I'm going to show you how to create this first. And then I'll show you how to install the actual operating system. So I'm going to click on Next, and then I'm going to choose Microsoft Windows, and it automatically brought me up to Windows Server 2012. The virtual machine name I'm going to use is going to be Windows Server 2012 Full Edition. I'm going to actually hit the Browse button, and I'm going to choose my uh, D drive here. And under my D drive, I've actually set up Windows Server 2012 VHD files. There's nothing in it, so that's where I'm going to put everything for this. So I'm going to say next. For the number of processors, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to give it two processors. For the RAM, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to assign, you know, six gigs. Under the network connection, how am I going to let the guest operating system, the Windows Server 2012 operating system, work with my NIC adapter, my network interface card? What I'm going to do is I'm going to give the operating system direct access the NIC adapter so that the Windows Server 2012 can work directly with the adapter. I'm going to go ahead and for the SCSI controller on my hard drive, I'm just going to keep the defaults here. I'm going to create a new virtual disk. Now, this virtual disk is basically setting up a hard drive for this Windows Server 2012 system. So I'm going to say create a new virtual disk. It's going to be SCSI. I'm going to give it 60 gigabytes. Now, on the screen, you have the ability to actually allocate all of the disk space now. Or you also have the ability to, instead of a single file, you can actually set the virtual disk into multiple files. And I'm going to click Next. It's going to ask me, where do I want to put this, this file that's going to be my hard drive? So I'm going to hit the Browse button, and I'm going to put it on my D drive. So I'll hit Next. Then it's basically just going to give me summary screen. I'm going to go ahead and say finished. And now I actually have full edition of Windows Server 2012. Once the virtual machine is created, you'll see here on the left hand side that I have my now my Windows Server 2012 full edition. You can see that the actual virtual machine details is powered off. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go ahead and click on the little link up here. It says power on this virtual machine. So it's automatically going to grab the files off of the DVD, and now we're going to go ahead and start a normal installation of Windows Server 2012. So at this first window, we can choose our language, our time, and our input. So I'm just going to go ahead and click Next. Then at this screen, I'm going to go ahead and click the Install Now. Now, it's going to give you the option of choosing either Windows Server 2012 Standard or Data Center Editions. So we're going to choose the Windows Server 2012 Data Center with GUI, and we're going to go ahead and click Next. Then it's going to ask us about our uh, licensing. So we're going to go ahead and say, I accept the license terms, and say Next. And it's going to ask you which type of install. Since this is a brand new install, we're going to choose Custom. And then at this point, we get to set up our hard drive. So I'm going to click on Drive Options. I'm going to go ahead and say New, and I'm going to choose this whole 60 gigabytes that I've set up in my virtual. 
I'm going to go ahead and format the main partition here. Only take a second. And then I'm going to go ahead and click next. And at this point, it's going to go ahead and install everything to this machine. So what I'm going to do is uh, we're going to pause the video and start it back up once all these files have been installed. Once all of the files have been installed, the server will automatically reboot and restart. And it'll bring you up to this first screen, settings, where it's going to ask you to put in a password for the administrator account. So we're going to go ahead and put in a password. I'll go ahead and hit finished. It'll go ahead and finalize the installation of Windows Server 2012. And at this point, the installation has been completed. So it's saying here, press control, delete the sign in. So what you do is come up to the VM spot here and you send a uh, control alt delete. At that point, you can then put in your password. I'm going to go ahead and log in. It's going to go ahead and set up my profile. And I have now installed Windows Server 2012 Data Center. I'm author William Panic. I hope you found this video helpful in helping you set up a VMware workstation and to set up Windows Server 2012 Data Center.